Welcome back to the Sports Show. Tiger Vision is here to bring you some wrestling action from last Thursday night when the Carroll Tigers took on Winterset and Greene County. This first home meet of the season, they fell to Winterset 45 to 30, but took down Greene County 36 to 31. Here are some highlights from the night. First, we have Luke Woosley wrestling against Winterset's Cole Brown in the 145-pound weight class. Freshman Woosley was able to get the win over Brown when he pinned him in the second period. Woosley got his second win on the night when he won with a 5-2 decision over Greene County's Joel Ward. Next, Parker Clucky wrestles Justin Smith of Winterset. Smith got the win, but Parker came back strong against Greene County to pin Isaac Ireland in the 152-pound weight class. Tristan Kane pins Caden Wilson of Greene County in the first period. We have the match of the night here. Josh Luff wrestles a great match and gets the win over Elijah Ward from Greene County in the, in the 285-pound weight class. The crowd, team, and coaches all went crazy as Luft held on in overtime to get the win. Coach Noggle congratulates Luft on the awesome win. Last, Elijah Dirks wrestles Isaiah Yoder of Greene County in the 182-pound weight class. Dirks would fall to Yoder, but Penn Park remains in his matchup against Winterset. It was a good win for the Tigers against Greene County. Carroll traveled to Dallas Center Grimes to wrestle in the DCG Invitational on Saturday. They finished 11th with a team score of 47. Elijah Dirks went 5 for 2 on the day and Aaron Denny went 3 for 2. Ezra Dirks, Luke Woosley, Parker Clucky, Riley Nearing, Dylan Delp, and Tristan Kane also picked up wins for the Tigers. They wrestle again on Thursday in Denison against Denison and Boone. Make the trip to Denison to watch some exciting wrestling from the Tigers. Now let's move on over to some basketball action against the Perry Blue Jays from last Friday night. The Carroll girls come into the game with a 1-1 record as they beat Atlantic in their first game, but fell to Kemper on the road. The Tigers started the game with sophomore Taylor Moore, juniors Maddie Lingle and Taylor Woosley, and seniors Cindy Renning and Sarah Sweeney. The Tigers are coached by Mark Renning and Nate Wall in their second season as co-head coaches. Let's get started with the jump by Taylor Moore. Then we have senior Sydney Renning crashing in a free throw putting her at 50% on the night. Renning went 1 for 2 as part of the team's 8 for 14 effort at the line. Next up, we have junior, Taylor Woosley, picking up a nice offensive board for her 19th of the season. Woosley is strong on the boards for Carroll and had 8 rebounds on the night. Five of them were even offensive. Here, senior Sydney Renning brings the ball down the court and the Tigers convert again as Renning drives, kicks to senior Sarah Sweeney, who drives into the lane and ends it with a nice feed to Taylor Woosley, who gets the quick bucket. Great teamwork by Carroll there. Maddie Lingle shows her stuff with a blinding spin to the basket and gets the two points on a nice finish. Here we have a strong offensive board by number 44 Bailey Brinks and a slick pass leading to a score from Maddie Lingle. She scored 8 on the night for the Tigers. With another beautiful assist, Maddie Lingle leads senior Carly Jones to the bucket ending up in another Tiger score. In the second half of play, Taylor Woosley shows she can knock down her free throw, putting her at a nice 71% for the season. We follow with an assist by Running, who feeds it to Lingle outside. For our last couple of plays, we have number 24, the lefty, Marissa Tuning, laying the ball in for another two points, and Sarah Sweeney, another lefty, getting the money on her three-point jumper. Carroll made big plays late in the game, but sadly it wasn't enough to get the W, with Perry beating the Tigers 60-46. The Tigers traveled to Storm Lake on Saturday and lost a high-scoring heartbreaker there, 76-71 but will play on the road tonight in hopes to put another tally in the win column. Now let's head on over to the boys' game against Perry. The Tigers look to, to secure their first win of the season against a great Perry team who made a trip to the state tournament last season. The boys are led by a strong senior class packed with good shooters and quick defenders. We start the night with junior Cooper Ross knocking down a three from the baseline. Here he goes again with a nice feed to senior Colby Mlinski who drains another three ball for the Tigers. Malinsky strikes again with the long ball as senior Dayton Ross shows his strength by getting past defenders delayed in for two. The Tigers pass the ball well against Perry, as you can see here from big man Soren Jensen, who kicks to number four Zach Promise on the baseline. Promise gets it to fall as Cooper Ross follows up with another three. As the second half began, Zach Promise took it strong down the middle, delayed in for two. Promise then assists Malinsky for another three on the night. 34 Malinsky had six threes on the night for a team high of 18 points. Junior Justin Moore proves he's a shooter as well, as he drains the long ball in front of the Carroll bench. The points didn't stop there. Seven of the Tigers players scored on the night. Senior Peyton Raymond knocks one down and the student section went crazy. It's raining threes for the Tigers as Cooper Ross and Malinsky each knocked down one more. Cooper Ross closely followed Malinsky for the high score on the night as he dropped 17. The Tigers took down the Blue Jays 62-44 in an outstanding shooting effort by the Tigers. 
They play on the road tonight in Denison in a non-conference game to try to go 2-1 and one on the season. Come out and support both the boys and girls as they play. Tiger Vision will be live tweeting both games, so sign on and follow us at TigerVisionCHS for updates. Go Tigers!